Uh, hi everybody, welcome back to Project Nexus. I'm Six, the Ruby Prince Six, and this is episode two. I put the uh, I put the camera down on the shelf I have here, so hopefully it looks okay. Um, I've never actually recorded myself like without holding the camera before, but I think we should be fine. <laughs> um, anyways, so I think. Um, by the way, this is this is my house. I built it in the previous episode. It's a little bit bare, but I'm working on it. And um, today we're gonna be exploring. We're gonna be going into caves. We're gonna be going into the other mountain range that is somewhere over here. We're gonna be doing some really cool stuff. And I'm gonna take you along with me. And hopefully nothing goes wrong because um, Critters are a little bit scary, but that's okay. It's no issue. I think it's go time. So, uh, yeah. Oh, there's a puppy! There's a wolf! There's a doggy! Hi. Hi, doggy. Hello, doggy. Man, there sure is a whole bunch of coal around here. By the way, I'm in the mountain range on the other side of the house. And, oh no, the sun's going down. Oh no. Well, that was close. Anyways, I found a couple of high elevation meadows over here and more emerald ore. There's, the stuff's everywhere. I know it's supposed to be really rare, but I can't find any of this, man. I'm, well, okay, that's not what I meant to say. What I meant to say is I'm finding it everywhere. Occasionally my brain just mixes up words and it skips a couple thoughts. And so I say the opposite of what I mean because I mean to say the opposite of it, but my brain doesn't register that. So it just says what I, whoop, it just says what I mean to say. Lord. <laughs> Yeah, it's not really the best, but that cloud is going directly through that mountain and I think I should be worried. Hmm. Strange land this is. And on the other side of this ginormous mountain range, there are more plains and more jungles and more emerald ore, apparently. The stuff's everywhere. Anyways, that's good to know if we ever want to go someplace else or take to the rivers and oceans to explore around. That's good to know. Well, I think I may as well be headed back. I just wanted to see what was in this particular mountain range and it doesn't seem like there's much that wasn't in the other one. It's pretty neat that there's two that are almost exactly the same though. Hi doggy. Whoop. That's... That's an Enderman. I, if you look directly at those guys, they get angry. I don't want to, I think I'm, I think I'm just going to go home now. The doggy is nice, but I don't know, man. Mm. And boom, nailed it. I have been standing here for the past five minutes waiting for this wheat to grow because there's a sheep over there and I'm trying to get it into this pin and I'm trying to get the wheat so that I can lure it over. It's taking forever, but I but it will be worth it. Ooh. Okay. I couldn't be recording because I was holding wheat in one hand and an axe in the other, but I found two sheep. Well, actually, no, wait, I found three sheep. This one just looks a little bit weird, and I managed to get them all into the staying pen with a little bit of pushing. Also, I set up a campfire over there, because I heard that bees like smoke. But, yeah. These are my sheeps. They are very, they are very good, and I like them. Oh man. Hold on. 
Hey, there we go. I am a man who has complete, who has reset his microphone quality completely on accident and forgot what settings he used. Yay! Howdy folks, bit of a time skip here. Um, since the last, it has been a, about a week since I have uploaded my, since, well, not uploaded, this isn't uploaded yet. It will be, but that's not important. Anyways, I, uh, the, the, I, I last recorded the clips last week, like the previous clips you saw, those were recorded last week. Uh, it's been a really rough week. <laughs> And I'm not entirely having the best... It's been a little bit rough, but we're surviving. Uh, so you're just going to have to excuse the microphone quality while I get everything finagled again. And then we can just continue on with our lives like regular. So, yeah. Yep. Huh? How did I end up out here? I was in, I was in my house. Huh. Weird. Anyway, well, I guess... Ooh. I guess my garden's been growing in. So. Can't be that bad. Now, I'm not going to say that I'm scared of caves. Because I'm not. Caves are cool. And I like caves. Just, I just like them best when they're, you know, properly lit and stuff. Because I'm not, I'm not scared of the dark. I'm not a kid. But I'm scared of the things that are in the dark because the dark can't hurt me. But there are a lot of things that are in it that I can't see that are. And that's kind of scary. So, usually I try to avoid it a bunch. But I think that if I take like a whole bunch of torches in, in there with me because, you know, I have a bunch of coal. I think I can keep- I think uh, the Scarecrow can look over my house while I'm gone well enough. I'm still not excited about this though. Dude, come on. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think that'll be enough. <laughs> yeah! Eight stacks of torches should do it. Spare pickaxe, just in case I don't find anything. And with that, we should be all good to go. Now, the question is, do we dare go down here? Because... I can see a lot of resources on, t on, t on the top here already, but that is a very stu that is a very steep drop and there's a skeleton there already uh, i'm not liking this i mean hey there's a cave up here. We could always try up here. Even though there's not really... Oh god! Nope. Nope, 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 nope. 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 Definitely not. No way, Jose. I think that for now, we continue farming and don't go anywhere near the monsters in the cave and move on with our lives. There are other better things we could be doing instead. For example, there's a whole bunch of sheep and cows up there and if we don't fall into the big scary cave, we can get them back to our animal pen and maybe expand it a little even and get some more animals because Oh, that's gross. I What I know about animals is that, you know, they just kind of do their thing and then make more of them. Like, I'm not an idiot, y'all. I learned sex education in school. 
thankfully. But like this, like you yeah, kind of have to have cows that aren't capable of asexual reproduction. Only certain types of cells can do that. I learned that in seventh grade science. So, I, so I kind of have to have a, a, a couple of them in one place. And holy cow, uh, that's a lot of cows. <laughs> I think I'm being threatened right now. Okay. I appear to be stuck. Um. Oh god. Come on. Come on. Yes. We got one in. And now we go back inside, okay. Oof. At least I was able to sleep first try. Anyways, uh, oh, hello. Yeah, don't worry about this. Um, you don't need that right now. Did one of them get out? <laughs> Sir, how did you escape? Aha! You cannot escape. May as well try to get you two in while I'm at it. Dude. Yeah, okay, y'all are both too stupid to get into here. You're lucky you escaped death by just being idiots. Great job, everybody. Anyways, we still have time left in the day and a decent amount of food. We could go exploring in the mountains up there because I haven't been up there yet. And they look as good of a place as any to see where my feet lead me. Personally, with all of this coal and iron lying around on the near in the nearby hills, I don't think I'm ever going to have to worry about going mining for this stuff. I mean, who needs diamonds anyways? I could probably just find them in a village or something. I don't have to go deep underground for that at all. It's way too scary to down there anyways. Did you get, did you see that zombie? It was trying to kill me, man. I have a vested interest in not dying and I personally think that I just if I had the chance to not go down there and not die I, sh I should do that because that's a great idea you know all of this coal reminds me of of my uncle he grew up in the Appalachian regions of, of America when he was a kid and he always used to tell me all these crazy stories of the coal wars they had in Virginia Basically, the Cold Wars were when a whole bunch of miners in Virginia that were getting paid by the by the coal companies to, you know, get coal. They kept dying because the, they didn't have, like, any safety measures or any rules. And when people spoke up about it, nobody really, nobody in charge did anything because, you know, there wasn't a law for it. They couldn't, like, get punished. And so eventually, all the workers came together, and that's a term known as unionizing. And what they did is they said, okay, well, if you're going to just continue killing us for some rocks, then we are just straight up not going to work for you because that is dangerous and all that. What the coal miners did after that, a whole bunch of them unionized at the same time and basically made the coal companies lose a whole bunch of money and the coal companies legally couldn't kill them because you know murder is against the law and so eventually the uh supreme court took notice and they had laws in place that you know you couldn't do that to your workers and so the strikes ended and the workers got what they needed and that's what the coal wars were Anyways, now that I'm back home and I have everything back with me, I think... 
okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna need more storage, because <laughs> this ain't it, Chief. I've noticed that a lot of it is being taken up by things like seeds and melons and like natural stuff, so I think maybe if I put like a little wooden shed out here, you know, to keep out the rain and then put some, uh, chests under it, that would be a nice and easy way to organize everything I have in here, because, you know, it's great, but it's not exactly the best. There we go. Now, if I remember correctly, the animals shouldn't be able to jump up onto here. Can they? Nope, but I can get up just fine. Okay, great. Here we go. Uh... We can just ignore that. Ooh, it's raining. Anyways, so... I have the little shed set up. See? Here, it's safe from the rain. And, you know, it's very out in the open, but... Since this is a single-player world, we shouldn't have to worry about that at all. Anyways, I think that is going to be enough for this episode of Project Nexus. Thank you all for tuning in. I will see you the next time around. Don't like, don't subscribe. I'm not your mom. It was... Wait a minute. Very nice seeing you all. Good.